Hi everyone, welcome to VRC with Gaurav. In this video, we are going to take a look at CAT 23, uh, CAT 23, sorry, my bad, CAT 23, second slot, the afternoon slot, RC passage number two from the VRC section. As you might already be aware that each slot carries with it four RC passages and then the verbal section. So one by one, we'll go through them. And uh, as you can see in the playlist, I have uploaded all the previous VRC questions uh, which had come in CAT. Make sure to go through the playlist and solve all the previous RC questions, okay? Uh, before we dive in the passage, uh, if you are a first time viewer or a very new visitor to the channel, here is my brief bio. My name is Gaurav and I coach aspirants specifically for exams like CAT and MAT, SNAP and uh, ZAT. My specialty lies in VRC section. As you can see, I have uploaded a bunch of videos uh, on this channel for your practice. Pure content, no masala, nothing else. Uh, I also conduct online batches. I coach aspirants and if you want to get to know any details about my batches you can hit me on the mail id and the contact number that i have given uh, the name of my academy is bell the cat www.bellthecat.co.in you can visit the website i have dropped the link in the description box as well okay so without any delay let's get started now coming to the rc passage genre uh, 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 sorry 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 before we start i would recommend that you pause the video here Read the entire passage on your own, then use the timestamp that I put in the description box. Go to the questions, jot down the answers. And before you start reading, try to have a timer running in parallel. It's always, always, always a good idea to know what kind of time are you taking, how much time you are taking to crack an RC passage across different genres. Okay. Now, coming to the content, assuming that you've read the passage and solved the questions, let's dive in and see what the narrative is, what the content is. Now, Content, genre, specifically political sciences, okay? Now, it is not quite possible for me to explain the complete definition on in-depth understanding of the concept known as liberalism. And you can also see highlighted on the screen words like left-wing and right-wing. All of these are political science concepts and if you are not quite aware of them, I genuinely request you to go to Wikipedia, go and Google all these terms. Uh, maybe also YouTube can help you there. You can visit a lot of different channels which help you explain, which help you understand what these terms actually mean. Right now, the definition of liberalism you can see on the screen right now. I won't repeat the definition. Effectively, in a very, very lame or uh, layman manner, you can understand uh, uh, liberalism as basically an individual car right. Okay. It means that even though there is a government in place, even though there might be a king, sovereign, emperor, or any government in place, and of course, they do have power. Doesn't mean they can tell the citizen or they can tell an individual to do what they wish. Not all the times. Okay? Of course, if there is a war, the government can declare that, okay, boss, we have to go to war. So, okay, everyone line up. But on a day-to-day -day basis, the government cannot interfere in literally any activity or every activity. You have to respect the individual's boundaries and his or own rights. Okay? So that's about it. That's that definition of liberalism we can work with fairly good enough. Uh, iske aage agar aapko detailing chahiye, I would strongly recommend that you go to Wikipedia, spend some time reading it and understand. Also keep in mind that uh, even though these are standard terminologies, liberalism, communism, capitalism, right wing, left wing, interpretation and explanations vary from place to place, context to context. Okay? And everyone, uh, although they do share some common traits, Communism, if you explain karne aega, toh, hai, common points you will get in every explanation. Mein. But the way, the tone and the side which the author or which the explain karne wala insan takes is going to vary from person to person. Okay? So keep that in mind. Even though it has the name, the genre has the name political science, science is a rigid, short short definitions. Nahi okay. Person to person, thodi subjectivity aati hai. Okay? Chal. Enough said. Let's dive in and see what the content, what the narrative is coming in from the author. Now, uh, you can see very well that the passage can be split into two halves and we will paraphrase the information according. Let's use blue color or do you like any other color? Let's, let's use, uh, yeah, let's go with blue for Mr. Deneen, okay. Deneen bhaiya kuch to bol rahe hai, theke, throughout the passage. And the author is narrating to us, that Danin Bhaiya ki yo opinion hai, he means all these things, he says all these things. But not necessary that the two guys agree with each other. The author at some places agrees with Danin Bhaiya and disagreeing in a lot of places with him. So to understand ki kiska konsa point of view hai, 
I have made this basic two columns and this is how we are going to paraphrase. Now, let's see what the passage starts off with. Danin Bhaiya ne kushko shayad book likha hai, article likha hai. He says that boss, liberalism has been extremely successful. Pichle 400 saal it has been the dominant philosophy in our civilization. Okay, alright. Liberalism has been the single-handedly dominant, uh, dominating philosophy. Okay. But now it is disintegrating. Now it is disintegrating. Ye kiska view hai? Ab ye sara ka sara, this is not author's view. This is the view of Mr. Dini. Okay. He starts to say that liberalism is falling apart due to multiple reasons. Then you have a lot of information coming in. Equality of opportunity has blah, blah, blah. Yaha se lekar up to almost the, the last part. The lie can no longer be accepted. Okay. I can practically paint the pura paragraph blue because it is highlighting only and only Mr. Dineen Kyoki. Author's opinion is yet to kick in. Okay. So let's, even though it might not look good, okay, let's, let's highlight, instead of highlighting, let's accept it. Yaha se leke ye saara part, itna saara, all of this. And what is the author, sorry, what is Mr. Dineen saying in all this is, ki because liberalism is starting to, you know, fall apart or even though it has been the dominant philosophy for the past 400 years, ab ye sab kuch ghatiya ho chuka hai aur uske piche piche a lot of things are falling apart. For example, democracy ko bhi galiya de diye Mr. Dineen ne that yaar ye bhi it has degenerated into a theater of the absurd. Absurd means trivial, not serious, not, not something mature, okay. Uh, technological advances also. Day by day we are moving fast forward. You have computer, you have internet and what not. But with every technological progress, a lot of new fields, a lot of new jobs are getting created, but a lot of those jobs are dead end in themselves. Okay. Gada majori kararya of insano se on me employ karke, they are not really adding much to human value. So, all in all, you can see that Mr. Dineen ka kafi negative outlook with respect to liberalism. He is not at all happy with the current state of liberalism. And, and, we have been given the example of Davos here, 1000 private planes risking of your. Ye thoda sa unfair is liye because if you don't know what is Davos and what happens every year in Davos, you might be wondering ki akhri statement ka meaning kya was, what the F is this? So, yaha par halka sa background knowledge, knowledge that you need is this. That every year in Davos, Switzerland, ek summit hota hai, ek baut famous meeting hoti hai, annual meeting of WEF, World Economic Forum. It is extremely popular and so popular that literally heads of state, China ka president, US ka president, world's richest billionaires, all of these guys descend on that city. Ek bada summit chalta hai kuch dino tak and a lot of discussion across a lot of diverse topics happens. Now as you can see, uh, all of these are very powerful people, very rich people. So they don't come by bus or train or like that. They come by a private place. Now, when this passage is written and even at the time when I'm making the video, using a private jet, using a private plane is the ultimate sign of elitism. Uh, recently, when I'm making this video, actually, a lot of memes were going around on Instagram and other social media uh, trolling Taylor Swift. Okay. Because apparently she took a very short private jet car ride from one place to other. I, it was like literally 10 minutes or something. Some dis the distance which she could have covered very easily by a road. But no, she chose to fly, fly her private jet. And private jets are extremely polluting in nature. So, this is very bawal. Bawal for South Indian viewers. A lot of debate, a lot of conflict. Okay. So, all in all, what the author, sorry, not author, Dineen, Mr. Dineen is trying to paint the picture that was aaj ke tarikh mein, today's world and today's liberalism, bogus. It's all bogus. It's all failing around us. It is all disintegrating. I am not at all happy. And he has given the proof of Davos, Jesse place, ja pe so many elite people come in and they decide, ki, oh, let's, let's create a shared future together. What shared future, man? Okay. Highly, highly sarcastic tone coming in from uh, Dineen as well as Mr. Author here. Ki ye kitni baat hai. On one hand, our society is falling apart and you are, you are lost in your elitism. Wala world. That's it. Hai? Moving ahead. Now comes the author's opinion. Author says ki bhai dekho, ek cheez aapko bolni padegi, that Mr. Dineen has done a very good job as far as capturing the dissatisfaction in society is concerned. 
let's let's do some paraphrasing before you guys get lost and by the way uh, i unfortunately i'm not able to use a lot of illustration in this uh, rc passage explanation try to follow along with every word especially in the questions when we'll get there kafi word play hone wala so pay close attention denin uh, mr denin is saying liberalism today mega fail second sorry third paragraph first line author is clearly saying this that mr danin at least has done an impressive job as far as capturing uh, janta ke andar jo akrosh hai na janta ke andar jo nakhush hai wo barabar se capture kiya hai mr danin ne right wing as well as left wing people both are unhappy with current state of uh, the things in our society theek hai now left wing right wing kya hota hai ye please aap thoda sa google youtube wikipedia kar lijiye I generally talk about these terms. I explain to them in great detail in my classes. Separate my classes let out for politics, economics, and history in order to explain these terms properly. And uh, uh, actually, they came in very handy as you can see. Actually, CAT में ये सारे terms आ गए. Okay, all right. But, but he concludes. Okay, now this is not the author's opinion. Sorry. He मतलब यहाँ पर मिस्टर डिनीन एट ऑल दिस एड्स अप टू अ फेलियर ऑफ लिबरलिज्म सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव रिटन ओवर हियर लिबरलिज्म टुडे मेगा फेलियर इन द आईज ऑफ मिस्टर डिनीन फिर ऑथर क्वेश्चन रेस करता है यार इज दिस आर्ग्यूमेंट कन्विंसिंग एंड देन वी हैव द ट्रेलिंग डॉटर डॉटर सो वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस दैट आंसर इज नॉट सो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड मे बी टेन परसेंट ऑथर अग्रीज एटी नाइनटी परसेंट मे बी ही हैज सम अदर थिंग्स टू टॉक अबाउट लेट्स सी He argues that essence of liberalism, okay, कौन है ये he once again Mr. Dinin. The Mr. Dinin agrees that uh, says that essence of liberalism lies in freeing individuals from constraint. कि इंसानों को बंदिशों से मुक्त करो. Okay, please pardon my excessive Hindi. For my South Indian viewers, this might be a bit jarring. Mr. Dinin is trying to say that boss liberalism means you don't compel an individual to do anything. make him as free as possible and that's it so as you can see pretty simplistic take on things right author then tries to give some depth here ki dekho yaar itna simple nahi hai sab kuch let me give you some depth to uh, what liberalism is actually okay and yahan se lekar aakhri tak aakhri tak as in for, to the end of this paragraph author is giving us good idea of what liberalism is author is saying that things are not so straight forward that boss give as many rights and freedoms to an individual as possible no people who came up with the idea of liberalism people who uh, implemented it over the past so many decades and centuries they experimented with a lot of thoughts with a lot of ideas and they tried to put together a really good well functioning template ki jaha par aapke paas mein sufficient rights bhi hai and they are balanced properly with the number of duties number of responsibilities you have as a citizen and It wasn't a whim or a fancy कि आ मन में आया वो policies लगा दी no a lot of experimentation was done and the most successful ideas they were implemented ठीक है and not just in one or two spheres of life but practically almost every sphere of civic social life ranging from uh, devolving power from the center to people इसका meaning क्या होता है devolving power from the center meaning that the central guy the king the emperor not holding all the power in his hands devolving and letting other people down the chain possess some kind of uh, power responsibilities so on so forth okay basically turning a monarchy into a well functioning democracy and doesn't stop there creating national education system so you can see that liberalism impacts massive areas of human life on, in the civic in the social sense while on the other hand mr denin the kitna simplistic take so author is not happy with this and let's paraphrase it appropriately what is the author saying that denin mr denin ka belief kya hai simplistic take
Okay, so Mr. Dineen actually has a very simplistic take on liberalism. While on the other hand, author is like, like things are not so straightforward. Liberalism is something pretty comprehensive. Okay, not complicated, comprehensive. कि आप ऐसा नहीं है कि भाई कुछ तो वन वन सिंगल डेफिनेशन दे दिया आपने लिबरलिज्म का ऐसे नहीं चलता डेप्थ है काफी सारे लेयर्स है और कॉम्प्लेक्स है थोड़ा सा हिस्ट्री ठीक है मूविंग हेड ऑथर इज ऑल्सो अबिट रिलेंटलेस इन दिस क्रिटिसिज्म दैट मिस्टर डिनीन यार एक ही चीज के ऊपर फिक्सेटेड है दिस कॉज इज अ सेकेंड बिग प्रॉब्लम इन दिस बुक एंड वॉट इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम हिस्स फेलियर टू रिकग्नाइज ये पूरा ऑथर का ओपिनियन है ओके okay? Liberalism's ability to reform itself and address internal problems very 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 important. This paragraph is very important with respect to this case that Mr. Dineen को नहीं लगता कि liberalism में जो आज की गलतियाँ आज जो problems है इनको वो system खुद ही ठीक कर सकता है. Mr. Dineen maybe maybe is not aware of this or chooses to ignore this. Author is trying to bring this to the attention of the reader. He dude wait. आज से 100-200 साल पहले भी डेढ़ सौ साल वॉट एवर इन द प्रीवियस सेंचुरी लिबरलिज्म वॉज इन संकट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम डेट वी सी टूडे दे वर ऑल्सो देयर बाय द टाइम नाइनटीन सेंचुरी वॉज एंडिंग मतलब 1890s में 1880s में यूएसए एज अ कंट्री वॉज फेसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल्स डेट वी आर सीन टूडे वॉट ट्रबल्स एग्जैक्टली राइज ऑफ वास्ट कंपनीज बिजनेस एरिस्टोक्रेसी करप्शन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स ब्लाह ब्ला ब्ला ओके But what happened is the system reformed itself. Appropriate people came on the scene, a variety of reformers, and they changed the society. They changed the way of things so that liberalism survived, and the society also solved its problems. Okay, rather than dying, liberalism reformed itself. His opinion is this, and this is what he is narrating. All of this is author's opinion. Okay, so please keep in mind all of that we are writing in green and highlighted in green. That is author's opinion. Everything that you can see in blue, that is Mr. Dineen का opinion, and this is very important. ठीक है? Now, once again repeating what the third para tells us that Mr. Dineen के outlook में there is a shortcoming that यार ये लोग Mr. Dineen को ये नहीं समझता कि अगर if there is a problem in place, liberalism can solve it. If liberalism is in crisis today, it has the potential to solve itself, to cure its own problem, to heal itself, and for this. Author gives the evidence of 100, 120 years back. Okay, now moving ahead. Author concedes that okay, boss, there is one more thing where Mr. Dineen is right. In the second para and the third para, thoda bashing kiya hai Mr. Dineen ka. But in the final paragraph, there is some agreement, common ground between author and the uh, on, and and Mr. Dineen can be found. What is that? Mr. Dineen is right to point out. Okay, so here green and blue ka mixture pakad ke chaliye. रिकॉर्ड ऑफ लिबरलिज्म इन रिसेंट इयर्स हैज बीन डिस्मल मतलब जो पिछले कुछ 10 20 शायद 30 सालों में लिबरलिज्म का जो हालात है नॉट इंप्रेसिव खराब पोजीशन में तो है सोसाइटी ये हम मान सकते हैं एंड ही इज आल्सो राइट ही इज आल्सो राइट व्हेन ही सेज दैट कि भाई दुनिया को सीखना चाहिए फ्रॉम प्री मॉडर्न नोशंस ऑफ लिबर्टी नाउ वी हैव नो आईडिया व्हाट इज ठीक है बट 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 ऑथर और मिस्टर डिनीन के बीच में अग्रीमेंट है इस चीज को लेके दट द वर्ल्ड हैज मच टू लर्न फ्रॉम द प्री मॉडर्न नोशन ऑफ लिबर्टी ठीक है इतना आपको ध्यान रखना है मूविंग अहेड ऑथर के अब खुद के ओपिनियन फिर से स्टार्ट होते हैं सो इंस्टेड ऑफ हाईलाइटर लेट्स यू गट अट कलर या बिगेस्ट एनिमी ऑफ लिबरलिज्म टूडे इज कॉन ओल्ड फैशन ग्रीड ओके एटमाइजेशन मतलब लोग बिखर रहे हैं एक दूसरे से डिस यूनिटी इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज ओल्ड सॉरी ओल्ड फैशन ग्रीड मीनिंग दैट रिच पीपल गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर ग्रीडी ग्राबिंग मोर एंड मोर मनी एंड पावर फॉर देम सेल्स एंड थ्रू द डावोस का एग्जांपल ऑथर इज वंस अगेन स्टार्टेड बैशिंग डावोस वंस अगेन एज मेंबर्स ऑफ डावोस एलिट पाइल देयर प्लेट्स एवर हायर विद पर्क्स एंड शेयर ऑप्शंस सो ऑल ऑफ दिस मींस कि कुछ ना कुछ जुगाड़ करके दे आर Gathering a lot of wealth for themselves. Gathering is also wrong, wrong word. Hoarding is the more appropriate word. Okay, and you guys already have a ton of money and power with you, but no, you are not stopping. You are cornering a lot of, lot of, lot of wealth and power for yourself, and it is unending. This is this is bad greed, and because of this greed, liberalism is under threat. Okay, other agrees with Mr. Dineen at least on this one point that liberalism today is not in a good shape. It is under threat because of a lot of things. 
एंड ऑथर के लिए तो सबसे बड़ा रीजन है ओल्ड फैशन ओके बट इज रॉन्ग टू आर क्यू ओके चलो फिर से फिर से चालू हो गया गाली देना मिस्टर डलीन के शॉर्टकमिंग्स पॉइंट आउट करना ही इज रॉन्ग टू आर क्यू डेट द ओनली वे फॉर पीपल इज लिबरेशन फ्रॉम लिबरलिज्म ओके ये थोड़ा सा ध्यान से पढ़ने की जरूरत है मिस्टर डनीम क्या कहता है कि अगर आपको लिबरलिज्म के बुराई से अगर बचना है तो पुट एन एंड टू लिबरलिज्म लिबर्टी फ्रॉम लिबरलिज्म नाउ सम पीपल माइट फील इरिटेटेड बाय दिस लिबरलिज्म क्या चल रहा है यार सेम टर्म आप इतने बार बोल रहे हो यार गेटिंग इरिटेटेड आई नो बट थोड़ा सा सह, सह लो थोड़ा ओके मिस्टर डनीम से एंड लिबरलिज्म बस मुझे नहीं मालूम कुछ यही तरीका है इससे बचने का ऑथर से बॉस वेट I am going to stop you right there. No. Okay. Simply saying no. कि liberalism से आपको बचना ये आपका goal नहीं होना चाहिए. आपका goal होना चाहिए that okay, today this concept, this policy is under threat. We need to reform it appropriately in line with the position of society today. That's it. और इन्होंने जो किताब लिखी है Mr. Dunin ने Why Liberalism Failed. इसको आप एक अलविदा वाला story करके मत समझो. But As a call to action, that boss, please improve your game, or else we will be in a lot of trouble. Okay. So wrapping up the discussion once again properly. What we mean to say is that. What we mean to say that is, Mr. Dinin is pointing out some problems with liberalism today. A uh, little harsh criticism. What is Dinin? Ne, today's liberalism. Ka. Author agrees with him on some point, and on other points he doesn't agree. and the way i have paraphrased it you can maybe use it it might come in handy to you or else if your comprehension and retention are already in good shape you need not jot any of this down and continue as it is okay so all right let's proceed and uh, let's take a look at the questions now all right coming to the first question as i said sometime during the explanation in the video please pay attention to a lot of wordplay that is now going to happen what does the question say author is likely to disagree with all of the following statements except now applying the english concept the grammar concept of two negatives make a positive this is how we can modify the statement disagree ka this goes out this all gets kicked out and they take this except with them and the all gets modified to one theek okay? hai now i don't have to try to explain how this works but yes uh, thoda sa two negatives make one positive should work for you so what the question effectively means is that there is one option with which the with uh, other will agree bache hue teen ke sath mein wo jhagad lega theek hai let's see what the options look like option a first if we accept that liberalism is a dying ideal absolutely no author ne dur dur tak mana kar diya hai uh, about accepting this ye kiska opinion hai ye mr dinin ka opinion okay mr dinin agrees with this यार लिबरलिज्म इज डाइंग इसको खत्म करो अभी अब हो गया वी वांट फ्रीडम फ्रॉम इट ऑथर से इज नो दिस इज रॉन्ग लिबरलिज्म इज नॉट डाइंग इट्स इन बैड शेप अग्रीड बट प्लीज मॉडिफाई द गेम मॉडिफाई योर सेल्फ एंड दैट सेट यू विल बी ओके सो ऑथर डेफिनेटली विल नॉट अग्री विद इट एंड नो वेर एट ऑल इज ही इज ही इन एनी मोड द ऑथर द ऑथर इज नो मोड टू इवन थिंक अबाउट अ सब्सिट्यूट ही सिंपली सेज मॉडिफाई लिबरलिज्म अप्रोप्रिएटली change where the problem is that's it that's it he never says that throughout liberalism and bring something else in the picture so obviously option a uh, cannot be the answer because we are looking for something with which the author will agree we have figured out that option a author will not agree let's jump option go to option b now okay what's given essence of liberalism lies in greater self expression and freedom oh this is laughable why kiska statement hai ye greater expression and freedom blah 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 ye sara essence of liberalism lies in freeing ye sab kuch mr denin ka opinion hai which the other goes on to bash ki dude wait things are not so straight forward it contains a wide range of traditions itna basic itna bachcho jaisa definition nahi hai so sorry 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 we are not going to agree with that out b and c is where entire drama happens according to theek hai i'll give you the officially correct answer but i am not in agreement with the officially correct answer why so officially right answer given in the answer key was option b now i don't have a problem with option b as such what is b 
Liberalism was the dominant ideal in past century, but it had to reform itself to remain so. Yes, author will agree with this. Author says, yes, this happened. You can see this happening in the third paragraph, clear cut, that a lot of problems that were there in late 19th century, okay, they were solved and liberalism reformed itself and yes, what is the result that we had over past centuries, four centuries, not just one, 400 years, liberalism has been successful, very, very successful. So yes, this is correct. The author will agree with it 100%, no doubt it. My entire problem lies with option C. Option C kya kehta hai? Claims about liberalism disintegration are exaggerated and misunderstand the core feature. Don't you think this is author ka right point? Authors actually say this in a way that he is clearly telling that Mr. Dineen ka understanding, Mr. Dineen ka understanding of liberalism is flawed. Okay. He misunderstands that core feature. What is one of the core feature? His failure to recognize uska ability, liberalism ka ability to reform itself. Dude does not understand this and that is why he has written this crying piece of information. Author says ki nahi, Mr. Dineen ko akkal kam hai. So, author will agree with this part, misunderstand its four features. Hai? According to me, author agrees with this. What about the rest of the part? Claims about liberalism disintegration are exaggerated what is meant by exaggerated please pardon my pen work it's not uh, good at the moment exaggerated ka meaning hota hai bada chada ke bhai had ke bahar baatein so liberalism phat raha hai liberalism is disintegrating liberalism is disintegrating ye kiska opinion hai ye hai mr dinin ka opinion does the author agree with him not really author goes on to effectively talk about that no this is not quite the case. Liberalism, okay, is in some kind of problem right now, but nowhere is it on the path to complete destruction. No, not at all. So, I believe that author would agree with this. Ki jo jo insan bol hai na, that liberalism phad gaya hai, ya phad chuka hai, ya phatne wala hai, ye baate bhot bada chada ke galat hai. So, I believe that option C is also something completely that the author will agree with. Okay. I don't think that author will disagree with it. But if you took a, take a look at the original wording of the question, what was that? That author will disagree with all except the answer. So when you mark option B as the answer, you are automatically saying that author will disagree with C. But I hope that I just put across my point properly that author will agree with it, not disagree. Okay? So that is why I am not satisfied with the official answer that is given and obviously can't do anything about it. Okay? Gai, baat gai, exam ho gai, marks a gai, percentile a gai, sab kuch ho gai. Okay. So, according to me, if you are somebody who are lost in option B or C, marked either one of them, it is okay. Theek hai? Agar aapne B kiya hai, toh baut zada jalosh ki zarurat nahi hai. Or aapne agar C kiya aur galat ho gai, toh baut zada dukhi honne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai. Alright. So, let's move on to the next, next question. This passage was excellent. Content is excellent. Problem lies with uh, the way the options are framed in a couple of questions. Not very good actually. Not very good. Whoever said it did not do a good job. I won't hesitate in saying that. All of the following are evidence of decline of liberalism today. Okay? Very important. Today, except. Once again, it means you are going to find three statements with a proof of liberalism falling today. Proof of decline of liberalism today. Okay? Kahai ye sentence gap between liberalism claim about itself, live reality, now so wide, like and no longer be expected. Boom, this one. Okay. That gap between liberalism ka claim about itself, blah, 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 blah. Let's highlight it using appropriate color. So, this is sort of proof, right? And uske baad mein, author ne proof bhi to diya hai, validate bhi to kar raha hai ye sentence ko. The one which I am highlighting in yellow right now, author has clearly validated it by talking about this Davos Valley 1000 private claims. Okay. So, yes, this is a good enough proof that yes, liberalism today is in a lot of problem. So, yes, this is a good proof. It falls in this 3 ka category option A and hence it will not be the answer. B and D. Ye dono ko saath mein dekhe. And they are actually positioned side by side. Of course, these are opinion of uh, Mr. Dineen. But author has clearly written them down over here. 
let's uh, highlight that democracy has degenerated into theater of absurd cool and uh, option b technological advances blah 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 up to treachery so as you can th see these three consecutive sentences all of them are a part of, of question 2 ke alag alag options options a b and b so and because they are written back to back enforcing the same point don't you think all of them are actually talking about liberalism getting uh, in in a bit of problem liberalism in a difficult situation today and what is what about question c sorry option c creation of business aristocracy blah 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 this is actually sitting elsewhere in the passage and it doesn't talk about situation today it talks about a situation some other time the rise of vast companies the corruption of politics since that society was dividing it to winners and losers okay so all of these things all of these things they are a proof of liberalism in sankat at one point of time in 19th century at max what we have is that these things they resemble what we have today that's it okay so kahi na kahi i am still still very sure shot that a b and d should be kicked out answer should be option c but as i told you a moment ago that this passage ke questions were problematic very problematic so what has happened is official answer is official answer is option b second why i am absolutely not a clue i don't have absolutely no clue okay i am still of the opinion that this should be the answer option c but kya kare jo hai wo hai so once again if you are somebody who is aligned with my thought process so don't worry a lot if you got this question wrong and don't celebrate also a lot if even if you got it right it's not a good question not a good way to frame it moving on to question 3 author faults denin ka conclusions for all the reasons except ek to ye except except pe bahut zyada fas gaya whoever was the question setter tried to feel over smart tried to come across as very smart and didn't, didn't do a good job yaar matlab khud hi shayad fas gaye wo dhang se answer nahi bataye dino mein bhi to effectively question ka meaning ye hai three options you are going to find which are legit criticism by the author of mr denin theek hai option a it's very very narrow definition of liberalism limited to individual freedom yes uh, denin is fixated with this blue definition which i'm highlighting you through my laser right now and author goes on to correct him He also goes on to say कि ये क्या है यार तुम ये एक ही चीज के ऊपर में चिपक के चल रहे हो सो ये दिस इज लेजिट क्रिटिसिजम एंड हेंस नॉट द आंसर बी इट्स फेलियर टू नोट हिस्टोरिकल इंस्टेंसेस इन विच लिबरलिज्म मैनेज टू रिवर्स इट सेल्फ करेक्ट करेक्ट राधर देन डाइंग लिबरलिज्म रिफॉर्म इट सेल्फ और ये चीज मिस्टर डनीन को नहीं समझती मिस्टर डनीन गधे इस मामले में ऑथर क्लियर कट से दिस इन ऑप्शन इन द पैसेज हेंस नॉट द आंसर दिस इज अजिट क्रिटिसिजम ऑप्शन डी it's extreme pessimism about future of liberalism today and predictions of an ultimate decline yes the very last sentence author says here he is wrong to argue ki chalo yaar liberalism ko bhi hatao iska marne ka time aa chuka hai aur chalo nikalo isko author says bilkul nahi aisa nahi ho sakta mr denin is being extremely pessimistic very very negative and he doesn't know that liberalism can reform itself so yes option d also should be thrown out लेजिट आंसर बनता है यहाँ पे आंसर ऑप्शन सी एंड फॉर अ चेंज आई अग्री विद द ऑफिशियल आंसर इट्स रिपीटेड हार्किंग बैक हार्किंग बैक मतलब बार बार पकड़ के लेके आना क्या चीज बार बार प्री मॉडर्न नोशन ऑफ लिबर्टी की बातें करना ऑथर एक्चुअली अग्रीज विद दिस ऑथर लेंड इज सपोर्ट टू दिस थिंग मिस्टर डनीन भैया ये कर रहे हैं एंड ऑथर से ये सही बात एंड वेर इज दिस रिटर्न ही इज ऑल्सो राइट टू असर्ट प्लीज फॉलो माई लेजर He is also right to assert that world has much to learn from pre-modernism. Okay, so ये जो last paragraph के first couple of sentences है, they highlight agreement between Dunin and and the author. ठीक है? So for a change, option C actually officially the right answer and also I agree with it. The other two okay. अब जो हो गया, सो हो गया. ठीक है? चलो. आगे चलते हैं. Last question now. passage refers to the davos elite to illustrate okay where is the guy writing davos elite 
guy is writing about them at two points is writing about them over here this red box that i've made let's highlight it this yellow and he is also talking about davos over here the first paragraph so q naam liya hai inka davos elite specifically kaha likha hai yaha likha hai and what is he talking about them that these guys they are piling their plate ever higher with perks and share options matlab paisa ikattha kar rahe hoarding kare ja rahe idha ye paisa mera 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 even though they have a lot of wealth so and that is creating a lot of problem for liberalism author says biggest enemy of liberalism is this kind of greed which this davos elite have cool cool which option reflects this which option reflect this properly answer option answer option b and these guys are doing so hypocritical yaar ki ye log bol rahe hain ki hum ek prakar se liberal log hai hum liberalism ko subscribe karte hain lekin paisa inko kha jana hai sara ka sara liberalism actually uh, propagates equality it actually advocates fairer distribution of power and money right बट ये लोग तो खुद का पैसा जमा करने में लगे हैं सो डेट इज वाई ऑप्शन बी बिकम्स ए राइट आंसर ओवर ओके इफ यू मेनी डाउट लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन वन सेकेंड आई वुड रिपीट क्वेश्चन वन एंड टू आई डू नॉट अग्री विद द ऑफिशियल आंसर द ऑफिशियल आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अदर टू केसेस क्वेश्चन थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन फोर आई अग्री विद ठीक है थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग यू लाइक द कॉन्टेंट Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Also, reach out to me on this mail ID or on this contact number of mine in order to get to know the details of my latest batch or uh, the BRC section for CAT, SNAP, SAT, and SMI. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Tada! Bye bye.